Hello my soccer universe. At the start of the 23-24 season I looked at my Premier League collection and you saw probably the video with relegated teams. It took a big hit because three teams that I have in my collection actually got relegated. Uh, namely, namely Leicester which I had for quite a while. Uh, we had Southampton which I had just acquired before the full season. That was the end of the season I got the Leeds jerseys. All of the all three of them down. I hope they will make it up soon, but I am not sure how good it looks. Thanks to a very generous gift from a subscriber, I pulled one back. I have a Nottingham Forest shirt and I have another team from the Premier League already secured. However, it has not made its way yet to me, but there was one particular team that I really, really needed. And it's really hard. I mean, I was even willing to spend full price on their current home jersey. But go and look uh, if you want to see CC team. They were even sold out at one point. So yeah, not very, very, very happy. So I scoured around. I put friends out for feelers, I think initially, but I wasn't quite ready to buy yet, which was a mistake. Um, they found relative to, to, to quickly, but of course the team at the moment is very successful. And I think that it token you can uh, already guess which team it, pro it, it probably is um, it was not that easy but I said now at the beginning of September I gotta get serious, serious about it and I found it on eBay and I found it in Ukraine again I love my Ukrainian sellers this one straight from Saporizhia that's war region uh, which actually makes me you know I feel I need to support them. Most of the Ukrainian sellers I, on eBay, I really like. I mean, I bought twice from them. I got the Wales shirt. I got my Union Berlin shirt. And what I like is that they put up the pictures with the tags and everything. So there is usually you have little doubt that it is not authentic. So very pleased with that. Same thing goes for this one here. And, you know, I really hope that uh, this seller is at least helping a teeny bit with, you know, making a living uh, despite very, very difficult times. It took, of course, a while to get from Ukraine. I ordered this at the beginning of September and it arrived uh, almost towards the end. It is not a very recent shirt from that particular team. However, it's the first one that they ever released with their current sponsor. It's also a triple XL. But I said, it's an Italian brand, so I better take it. Now, here you go. Of course, it is Brighton. It is Brighton. I think this is the jersey from the season they got promoted in. Uh, but I have to say, I like the more traditional look with it. But it's also uh, the first one with the round or crest American Express sponsor sublimated in, as is the area logo. This is kind of a felty material, which I, th I, I think is pretty cool. We have also a sticker here for American Express. There you have it, my first ever Brighton jersey. Um, I actually would have loved to get last season's because I I actually really liked it, despite the weird Nike tan temple. I really, really liked that the blue stripes with a little bit yellow in there. I enjoyed that, that one. I know it was not popular with the fans. However, there's some yellow on this one too, so I, I actually think it makes it look uh, quite nice. It's still an area effort. Gotta say, yeah, like for an Italian brand, I think it is maybe double XL in regular size, but you know, I won't mind it all that much. To me, I have been, I don't want to say I have been avoiding Brighton, but while they were attractive most of the time, I, under Graham Potter, I never thought that I will have actually the real need. You know, when I started expanding my collection, you want to get the top teams, the ones that are doing uh, well. I never thought that Brighton will play any, any role. Little day there, I know that this is an extremely well-run club. There's quite some nice things as well. In addition, one of the first shirts that I got from Classic Football Shirts, relative cheap, was Crystal Palace. Another team that I never thought that I would have, but I said, okay. Brighton? No, I have Crystal Palace. I will be on that side of the <laughs> rivalry uh, and I will die on that hill. 
Yeah, now that I'm qualifying for Europe, I want to have of at least the big league teams, everything, everyone that qualifies for Europe, I would like to have a shirt. So it was inevitable that I get Brighton and they are a very entertaining and attractive side to watch. I needed a jersey for off to off of theirs and I said it was not easy, but eventually I got it and I am really, really, really pleased that I got this one. I Actually, that, that's a, little, a slightly older uh, shirt. Makes it even a little bit cooler, I have to say. Uh, although, I have to say, like, I, I really like last season shirt. This season's, well, we'll see. Not so much of a fan, although <laughs> it was still available. I probably would have bought it. Didn't work out. Any case, do you have any Brighton shirts in your collection? Have you been like me on the lookout and it just uh, slipped through your fingers? Uh, let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.